Hey guys, MTG new back, and as you can see, we're getting extremely punished for being greedy and splashing the black. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand and hope we rip into a white source. Our opponent also mulliganed to six, so that might make things a little bit better for us, but not necessarily 100%. So we're hoping we get to rip into a planes. And that will make us very happy. Because then we'll just bust out some stuff. Okay, so he starts out with an island. Come on, planes. We have two turns to draw planes. I'm sure we'll draw not a planes. <laughs> okay, so we'll play the planes just in case we draw it. If we don't draw another land, we're pretty screwed. Um, we'll play out a silver chase fox, though. Alright, so he plays his red source. On planes. All right, midnight haunting. That kind of sucked. And then we will pass the turn. I don't think he's got any enchantments, so our silver chase fox might jump in the way of stuff if it needs to. Hopefully, he's not splashing red for burning vengeance. That would be bad, right? He seems. I want to say land screwed, but I don't want to jinx it. Come on, be land screwed, and then let us rip any land. Any land, preferably a white, green, or red land. We can't rip another black land. So we can basically rip any land here. Okay, Cloistered Youth isn't amazing, but it's good in this case since he's not doing much. And then we'll apply a pretty good clock to him if it gets to not get Geist Flamed, which we hope he he's not splashing the Red War. Alright, he hits his third land, and he hits a good land, which really kind of sucks for us. So now we, yep, Fires of Undeath. Okay, so he burned our guy. Now we hope to hit a land. Alright, Hamlet Captain. You know, it's understandable that we're getting punished for the black source, but it's also not very understandable but that we're not hitting any land by turn four. So that's a little bit unfortunate, and I don't think we're able to take advantage of his potential land screw. So hopefully he does nothing. He plays a Derange Assistant, which isn't great for us because it speeds him ahead on mana. All right, we hit our third planes. We're going to swing in no matter what. And I think we're going to keep applying a clock and the 2-3 doesn't really matter. He can't block the Spectral Rider, so I think I'm going to actually play the Spectral Rider. And we'll pass the turn. I'm hoping next turn we hit either a green source or a red source. If not, we can still keep playing out little chumpy guys, but that doesn't do much, and he's one away from hitting us with a Fires of Undeath. So that kind of deals with our Spectral Rider. So maybe I should have played out the Cathar, but I was hoping he wouldn't get close to his land. Alright, next turn, if we don't get anything, we'll probably play Midnight Haunting. Okay, that sucks for us. That just shuts us down pretty much on the ground. Alright, we get the green source. So that's nice. Might want to travel prep both of our guys, especially our knight. He could kill it and gain four. Um, hmm. Decisions. Could also play a midnight haunting and travel prep our haunting tokens. Thar doesn't really do anything thinking. Maybe double blocks. That's bad because he'll still gain four life and kill our guy. But it will shut down his mana. Um, hmm. And then we're really banking on this. I think I'm just going to go for the Spectral Rider attack. Make a midnight, make midnight haunting tokens play, and the next turn I'll probably travel prep my tokens. He's at 12, but we don't want this killing stuff. Can't really deal with that, unfortunately. 
We probably should have also considered that he would have gotten a land there. Um, we're kind of lucky he bricked because, you know, having a 4-4 four, four intimidate guy that he's never going to block is really good. Okay. Tower Geist. That's pretty good. Okay, we could have considered playing this and this, but the ground game is just not really great at the moment because of this one ghoul. Okay, he gets a six land, so now we definitely have to travel prep our uh, spectral knight. Okay, so we'll make two guys. Kind of sucks that he has a spirit now. Uh, that's pretty good that we rip that. Uh, t -t 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 thinking would have been better with a land. All right, we definitely have to travel prep this. So I think we're going to play... Travel prep on our rider and the spirit token. And then we'll flash it back and we'll play it on our rider and our other spirit token. So now we'll get in there for a bunch. If he wants to trade, he could trade. We won't be attacking with Silver Chase Fox because we don't want him to get land. Okay, so he just blocks. Takes six. Uh, he could fire as of Undeath this if he really needs to. Hopefully he has no bounce spells for this. We're trying to really spectral ride this to victory. <laughs> yes, I know. I know I'm terrible at puns. Okay, so we're hoping we rip another travel prep. We have two in our deck. Now, if we get another one, that would be really, really good. Come on, travel prep. We'd also take an instigator gang, a mountain. Maybe a warren. Um, he's really, unless he's got a flyer, he's pretty behind. As you can see, he does have the Geist Flame, though, in his yard. Because he's got to kill this now, and we're hoping he's not going to. We're like, claustrophobia. Uh, okay. That is pretty decent, because he can drain us for life. Oh, really? Fucking gay. All right. Well, we're still going to bash in with our flyer. Um, that's a good one. I think we're going to play it out. And then next turn, we'll play our instigator gang. We get to buff our guy, which is nice. So he can't block and guys flame it. Unless he's got another one, which is possible. So he takes that. He goes to four. And next turn, if we rip a land, we're going to play out Instigator Gang and Spectral Rider. If not, we'll just play out a Spectral Rider and probably a Midnight Guard. We have to play out things that... This does not kill. Plus this. So when he kills things, he's going to be gaining a life. So like, right now, if he fires, a, you know, undeaths this, he'll gain a life going up to five. Then, you know, if this dies, he'll gain a life. So we have to kind of play around those things. But I would say we're in a pretty positive position at the moment. And having pretty much an instigator gang next turn is going to be really good. It's going to make a 4-3 flyer and a 3-3 three, three flyer. Just this fox, man. He's so foxy, but he's not doing anything. <laughs> he's just getting shut down by this abattoir goal. All right, we're waiting for our opponent. He's seeing what he can do. He's, his foot's on the back. He's at four. 
Too bad we don't have like splashing for brimstone volley. That would be very nice. Okay, we'll see what he does. Uh, I guess he's still thinking. Sorry. Okay. He's deranging. He can always bounce our token. Which is a good play, I would think. So he bounces our token, but we still have this. And we're going to be bashing in with that. And we rip a land, which is nice. So we'll play out an instigator gang. And we'll attack for four. And he'll go down or up, excuse me, to five because he's got a block and he'll gain a life. Okay, and then we're going to play a Spectral Rider. And then even if we just split, um, actually, a Spectral Rider might not be amazing here because he could just kill it with fires on death. But if he does that, then he time walks himself. So, yeah, we're going to play a Spectral Rider out because if not, he's got to deal with it. I was thinking maybe play out the Cathar. But the Cathar will just get eaten by this, gaining him two life, and then coming back, and it won't even trade. So next turn, we're going to most likely Alpha Strike with everything, even if he ends up getting to kill, like, the Silver Chase Fox. Then we just... He'll gain two, he'll go up to seven, and then we'll... Um, hit him for four, you know, seven, and whatever the Spectral Rider does. So I think we're going to win this game. I'm hoping we're not, like, timing out over here or something. His clock is going down. He's blocking. We want to make sure it's not on us. Okay, I don't know, at this point, we've been waiting for about two minutes, so that might be a bad sign. So we're going to do the, you know, sign out, sign back in. So I'm just going to stop the video here, and I'm going to bring you, now uh, you know what, I'll just sign out, sign back in, and you'll just, I guess... Uh, maybe I'll edit it, or you'll just see my screen for a while. Oh, nope. All right, we got lucky. <laughs> it was him the whole time. Okay. So he gets to trigger that. I guess he's lagging. I don't know. I thought it might be us, but it's not. All right, gain a life. Make us go down to 19, and then we'll play out a Spectral Rider. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. You go up to five, and hopefully he doesn't have any, like, very bomby things like Blasphemous Act in his hand, because that'll wipe our board, but then we'll just reload. I have a ton of stuff in hand still. And if he plays nothing here, we flip our guy and just win in the air. So he plays a... Six land, he can't really tap this for mana. I mean, he can block and then tap it. But next turn, we're going to be playing, swinging for nothing, because he gives us a good game. Good game. All right, so we're basically always going to be playing behind a game in this draft, but we are going to hopefully make the best of it.
Thanks for watching. Bringing you round two coming up. Please make sure you subscribe.